Hello, this is the Star Wars Batman Show. I'm Mike. Guess what day it is? Not hump day. It's Halloween. And today, we have, I have, I've composed my top ten favorite horror movies of all time. Alright. Let's go down from ten to one. Let's do it that way. It's easier. Alright, number ten. Night of the Living Dead. I have to throw in a bit of nostalgia. This re redefined all zombie movies to date. And, you know, of course, it's scary. This is the first zombie movie I ever saw, so you can say that, oh, he's a bit of nostalgia. No. This is, um, scary for a zombie movie. Of course, not nearly as scary as, say, 28 Days Later, or... Why didn't I put that on the list? Oh, yeah, because a lot of these other movies are scarier. So, Night of Living Dead, number 10. Number 9. Friday the 13th, part 6. Here comes the fan hate mail. He's The reason why he's number 6 is because I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, zombie movies. That's why Night of the Living Dead was number 10. So, of course, you know, same old story. Jason goes on a killing spree, someone stops him, and the whole cycle starts all over again. So, I mean, not much to say to this. Number 8. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. This is a Freddy Krueger movie. It may not sound like it, but it's a Freddy Krueger movie. Basically, reality and fiction merge together into one movie. That. And Freddy looks scary as hell. Okay, um... Number seven, um... Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Why is Texas Chainsaw Massacre number three? I mean, seven. What do you mean he's scary? What? Are you kidding me? He's not scary at all. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You know, face not scary. Ah. No, Leatherface is not scary. I don't care what they say. He's not scary. Oh, fine. I don't want Texas Chainsaw Massacre as number 7. I wanted The Shining as number 7, but apparently Texas Chainsaw Massacre is scary. Alright, let me just go over this real quick. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Guy running around with a chainsaw, kills everyone. Same thing with Friday the 13th. Why are you so... Why? Ugh. Man, you don't fuck that. Friday the 13th, part 3. Alright, this is, uh... You know what, no, not Friday the 13th, part 3. I'm just sick of Texas Chainsaw Fine, I guess in a way, he's scary because he rips you apart and nothing else. Number 6, Cabin in the Woods. This is a psychological thriller, and that's why I like it. Um, basically, there's this cabin, and, this, and the American stereotypes, as usual, walk into a cabin, and they all die. The end. Cabin in the Woods says, wait a minute, how can we make this formula work? Well, I'm not, well, you know, not making it stupid. So they say, hold on, let's make, let's leave the stereotypes, and let's leave the cabin, let's just make the cabin, um like a stage for for the big thing, you know. It's like a little platform, if you will, for the big picture. So, basically, this is pretty scary. Actually, I have to admit, it's pretty scary. I'm not a big fan of, you know, traditional horror films, but this is pretty scary. So that's why. What the hell? I thought that was a gunshot for a minute. Number five, Insidious. This is a psychological horror film. Probably because I'm freaking, like, talking about horror movies and picturing them in my mind, and I just go, oh, crap, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Number five, Sidious. This is another, this is a psychological horror film, that's why I like it. Basically, a guy can see ghosts. No, it's not the sixth sense sort of thing. It's like he falls asleep and he sees ghosts. And, um... You know, 
I'm, I'm not telling you any more. Go watch it yourself. Number four, Psycho. Yeah, I would have been an idiot to leave this one off the list. Not particularly scary. It's just, oh, okay. And this one I'm not spoiling for you either. It's like, oh, okay then. Well, I didn't see that coming. How could you? Watch it, and you'll know what I mean. Number three. Hmm. I'm sort of tempted, sort of not tempted, but three, The Shining. Why do you want me to put The Shining as number three? Number three, he wants me to put Shining as number three, but, you know, this is, no. Shining's not number three. Shining's more like number seven. But it's like a psychological horror film. Here's what I wanted as number three. Friday the 13th, tied with Halloween. I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of traditional horror films, but, you know, these two kind of even it out. Guy walks up, kills everyone, tries to get objective. Except I'm more leaning towards the edge of Friday the 13th, only because there's a twist. It's not Jason. Spoilers. Nah, you know what? That's not a spoiler. Everyone really knows that. If you don't, well, sorry. Sorry. But yeah, um, you know, I kind of like the twist at the end where it's not Jason. You know, this was one of the movies that led up to it. I think the next movie had Jason. Yeah, the next movie had Jason. But, um, number three, I mean, number, part one, the original, yeah, you know what I mean. Alright, number two, Sinister, psychological horror film, and traditional horror film, mixed together, and create a entity that can teleport, jeez, you just getting scared thinking about it. Um, basically, entity, and traditional horror film combined, he can teleport, not teleport, he can walk through, you know, pictures. If you take a picture of him, he'll walk through it and he'll kill you. This is freaking scary as hell. <laughs> I'm just getting scared just thinking about it. Okay. Hey, Tom, Tom. My number one favorite horror film of all time, Nightmare. On Elm Street. Okay. This movie scares me. And don't piss me off about that remake. That remake was stupid and should not have existed. Okay. Um. Psychological horror film and. Yeah, um, he owns your friggin' dreams. He will kill you in your dreams. End of story. That's why he's scary. He can kill you in your dreams. He deserves number one. He's the king of all horror films. That's it. End of story. This has been a Star Wars Batman show production, and thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the other side.